Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to show you is how to implement dodging for the combat system. So whenever there, are, uh, there is an, uh, some enemy nearby us, this character will dodge away from that enemy character like this. So when I press space, the same button that I have been used for jumping, it works as a dodging uh, in this case. So this character is dodging away from the enemy like this. Alright, so that's what I am going to show you today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous uh, patrons and thank you very much for your support you guys are the best and i have uh, put my source code and the project files and some other stuff including the blend space well actually source code or the project files include everything so i have made available through my patreon account you can check it out and download the source code for yourself or to check all right so let's get started okay so in order to implement dodging i have to need download another animation for that i am going to use this when i search dodge i got this stand and dive forward animation this one and i'm going to download this with in place enabled without skin and I'll import this animation into my project. I put it here for now. Night. Okay. So this is the animation. Right. And I'll create a montage from this. Create any montage and uh, here I'll add couple of notifiers anim notifiers we already have this attack move notifier and as I remember what this attack move does is making the character move forward let's quickly check I don't remember that correctly okay and should be under fight and attack move this one and yeah it's uh, adding an movement impulse adding an impulse towards the characters forward and therefore it is moving forward so okay with this guy is in here this guy is rolling forward so to take an effect of this i'll add couple of attack move notifiers like this Uh, the reason I want to drive this movement with impulses is that uh, if I completely depend on the animation uh, movements without having any physical component it then let's say if I am in a I am uh, sitting uh, standing next to a wall or something and when I press dodge this guy will go through the wall so when there is a physical component to it like adding an impulse uh, that kind of a scenario would not take place so that's why i am doing it like this in this way well there may be better ways to do that but for now this is the way i figured okay so the next thing is i need to implement dodging and for dodging I'm going to use same uh, same key which is space I used for jumping so I have input uh, 
implement a jump pin in my basic input event graph here <clears throat> okay and right here so how do I determine I'll first collapse this because this part is going to be a little bit complex than this jump dodge okay and so how do I determine should I jump or dodge well for that first I'll check is there a closest enemy right and if this closest enemy if I have a valid closest enemy I'll check it like this and if I have a valid closest enemy then I should dodge if not I should jump so like this this part should implement dodging so for dodging what I'm going to do is I'll play montage and here I'll add that montage I created this one okay so let's uh, see how does that look first and also I have to make sure so this is dodging so therefore I have to make sure this uh, character is uh, is dodging or jumping out of the direction of the closest enemy so that means I should rotate this character to the opposite direction where the closest, uh, closest enemy is but first let's see how this dodging works and then let's get to that part right okay I have an enemy right well I feel this dodging is kind of slow okay so I'll first increase the play rate to 3 let's see well that's pretty fast isn't it okay how about two okay this I feel this is right okay so now let's uh, take care of that direction thing so first I'll okay we have our closest enemy and I'll get the direction from from us to this guy like this find look at rotation and get at location and yeah I should get the direction from this guy to me so that is the direction I should be dodging so therefore for the source location I'll put this one and for the target location I'll give my location like this and So I'll just uh, snap into this rotation like this set at uh, rotation and I'll split this part and this one for X and Y should not 
uh, I don't have to change X and Y I should change only yo because I uh, the rotation should only be around my Z axis so I'll get a current actor rotation like this and split and plug X and Y okay now let's see right so okay I just well, this is not perfect but yeah so the problem uh, happens here is this uh, attacking part does not know about dodging okay so let's fix that now i'll go to my get hit part oh here this one here i should check if i am dodging so for that first i should have some variable to uh, show that I am dodging so and a moment no under fight I'll duplicate this one dodging is uh, the spelling is correct okay I don't know and here I'll set this doji into true okay so when I am doing this I think I should put this section inside uh, with a do once node because uh, if I press space continuously I'll just show you so without this one like this so if I yeah this is what happens if I press space continuously see see yeah so this animations played uh, again and again as I play as I press jump button so to prevent that I can do this add a do once node and set doge into true and add a delay and one second no let's say 0.5 second okay and after the delay I'll again set doge to false and reset this node so that it can be executed this part can be executed again right so let's try this and also I should check this if dodging part here as well mm -mm -mm. yeah before that before this I'll add a branch and if dodging well if not dodging I should go to this part if dodging I should I think I shouldn't do anything for now right well if I am doing something like slowing down the time or anything then I should do that part in here but let's get into these those things later for now only dodging right let's check it again okay right so I'll repeatedly press right okay okay let's, uh, let's go to some where that we don't have any shadow so that it's clear for you guys 
or, or too late right okay no I should wait until they are too, well too late again well again too late well again too late right I think the problem is well here so I start dodging after I get hit so I should do something about that well actually this video has already taken about 15 minutes so I'll just stop it here for today and tomorrow let's work on fixing that so for now I'll check dojin again okay well this is still this is still not good but let's fix it in the tomorrow's episode all right see you in the next episode